Soon enough, we'll be continuing into a new year, but for leaders here in the Mohawk Valley, their sights have been set on 2019 for quite some time, hoping to continue that same success this current year brought. With all of the progress Herkimer County made when it came to economic development this past year, County Administrator Jim Wallace says he's looking forward to it continuing in 2019. That may lead to additional growth in the area. But with this growth comes the need for employees. And Wallace says it will be key to encourage young people into joining the workforce. If the area is going to move forward, we really need employees. I mean, I've been here, as I mentioned to you earlier, 40 years, and we, there was never a question about the quality of the work ethic in upstate New York, not just Herkimer County, but upstate New York. Uh, the employees that we have are fantastic, but I think we need to expand on that. I think we all need to work together to make sure that we have people that are available to go to work. One of the biggest projects continuing into the new year is the jail project, something the county began work on this past year. We think it'll save the taxpayers in the end $700,000 to a million dollars a year. Uh, we think it's the right thing to do. Uh, uh, and again, I think it's an extremely important project. With the changes in state government now that all three branches are controlled by the Democrats, Wallace says he's concerned the focus will be shifted to downstate, where most of the majority party resides. Downstate versus upstate are, you know, the, the issues are tremendously different. And I think uh, we, have, we do, we have, a, we have an awful lot of concern. But he says it's up to the county and their state representatives to make sure Herkimer continues to have a voice. I think we, we just have to keep plugging away. We have to keep doing what we're doing. I think what you're seeing upstate really over the last year or so, not just Herkimer County, a lot of other counties, you're starting to see some real positive trends. You know, people, you know, companies moving in, people getting work. Uh, so those have been positive things. I'm hoping that the state legislature will understand that. Now moving over, over in Otsego County, officials there are also looking to continue the progress made this past year as they move ahead into 2019. Going into 2019, Otsego County Board Chair David Bliss says he's looking forward to continuing work on improvements to the region. This through different programs and initiatives. Our countywide shared services plan. We built, we bought a new, or buying a new municipal accounting software system and tax software, which is costs roughly a half a million dollars, but it's going to greatly improve our efficiencies. And we're sharing that with the local municipalities so that they can get on board and and uh, better interact between the county and the towns and the state. The county's 2019 budget kicking off January 1st. And while Bliss didn't have the exact percentage tax increase residents will see, he says it is under the tax cap. I'd see our county is, has the lowest per capita tax levy in New York State, so uh, that's a good thing in some ways, but in other ways, you know, it means that you don't have always a lot of money to do everything you want to, and, and because of that tax cap, you know, we can't uh, do some things that we always want to do. But with that being said, the county will be tackling different projects going into the new year, including moving forward with a new transportation facility. The plan, if it comes to fruition, is to, to build it down near the BOCES uh, in Milford, which is uh, a good location for a lot of reasons. One being it's closer to the center of the county, so it be a little more effective to get out and cover people. With new faces in both Congress and the State Assembly, and all three of the state's legislative branches controlled by the Democratic Party, Otsego County will see different government changes. But Bliss says he's not concerned. I expect, you know, again, Republican Democrats, I think we all have the same goals. It's just how we're going to get there. And, and uh, that's one of been my record in my years of public services. I've been able to work well with both sides and hopefully we'll be able to continue that. Now, one of the things both Bliss and Wallace say they're continuing to look forward to in the new year is economic development for their areas. Coming